The Deputy Chief of Defense Forces, Lieutenant General Peter Elwell, in his opening remarks, noted that the meeting comes at a time when the region is experiencing dynamic environmental threats that present major challenges. Ask my another and be able to look into these threats objectively and find ways of handling them as a region. As Africa, we have so many challenges, but it is only us that can sort out these problems. And with you at the front line, we should be able to deal with all these problems which are, which are facing uh, our region. So we will explain that without intelligence, the region can not do much. You should be able to share uh, all what is affecting us, especially in our own countries, be able to share and see how best we can solve them together as a region. Because today, whatever affects Uganda affects the rest of the region. Major General James Sibirungi, Uganda's Chief of Military Intelligence and the Chair of the meeting, noted that Uganda, like any other country, continues to be affected by global security dynamics, including the constant changing and transition nature of threats. Okay, sir. Addressing these threats requires new ways of thinking and strategies, as well as closer partnerships with all stakeholders at different levels. It is my hope that this forum will contribute to the overall efforts of ensuring peace and stability in the region and beyond. Uganda with its part continues to support all initiatives to be geared towards the regional stability and seek the support of other partner states and stakeholders. In attendance were representatives from the Republic of Djibouti, Democratic Republic of Congo, Ethiopia, Somalia, Eritrea, Rwanda, South Sudan, Sudan, and Tanzania. Haruna Mtesa Sira, UBC News.